is working. Jack? Hello, 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 hello. About the history of the college match. Well today is actually a very momentous occasion. As you may know, Christ College and Christchurch Boys High School have some very deep rich history with each other. In fact, it was this time 120 years ago that we played the first game with each other and it is 146 games we have played, not including this one. So a lot of deep history there. I know a lot of the players who have put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this game and what a lovely turnout we have today. Uh, can you please talk about why else this is a special occasion? So Zeke, this is a very special occasion because we are fundraising for the Maya Health Foundation. And Zeke, the Maya Health Foundation is the official charity of the Canterbury DHB. And their aim and goal is to provide funding and resources for Canterbury's health service. So um, they are trying to take Canterbury's health service from good to great and they're well on track for that. They've already raised over ten million dollars which has helped fund the helipad on top of the Christchurch Hospital which yeah. means they don't have to land in uh, Hadley Sorry. Park anymore <laughs> and they've also raised money which is helping uh, kids get access to health care more readily and there will be people going around today collecting donations um, and no matter how small these donations will be greatly greatly appreciated. If not able to donate it's not much to ask, all we ask is that you sit back and enjoy a good game of footy. We are handing you on to our commentators now, take it away please. And going to our commentators... Hello, and welcome to the 146th annual Christ College vs Boys High School Rugby game. It's a beautiful day here after some wild and wacky weather earlier in the week. It's sunny, it's lovely. I'm Hamish Judd and I'm here with Easton Stocks. Yeah, hi, hey, I'm Easton Stocks. I'm just really looking forward to this year's Christ College match. Both teams very well cut it out. I'm just really looking forward to the game. It's going to be a good one. Uh, to start with the lineups for Christ College at prop, it's Marcus Hamilton and Jack uh, Jones. Jack Jones, the prop, got scoring in the try last year to hit the nail in the coffin for Christ College. Uh, keep an eye on number three for college because it's going to be good to see. At locks, it's Jaden Saar and Johnny Lee, the captain. At flankers, it's Louis Bethel and Anton Marshall. And at number eight, it's Hendricks Taylor. Number nine is Sam Idis. At ten, we got Nick Shearer. On the wings, Benji Ward and Sean Relaford Bradford. In the midfield, we've got Callum Summerfield and Nathan McKenzie. And at the back, we've got Angus Hamlet. 
On the bench, we got Tom Thine, yeah. Ethan Jones, George Goodman, Flynn Topman, Jackson Thomas, Jack Bleacher, and Gus Ord. Coached by Ross Kennedy, Sam Broomman, and Sam Chamberlain. How's that boys' high team looking, mate? Yeah, it's looking really good, Hamish. Starting off for our captain, we have Sam Foster at prop. We're really looking forward to him. Watch the play today. He's returning from the 2021 squad. At the other prop, we've got Regan Jones. He's also returning from 2020. The great front row we combo there. At number two, we've got... Manu Letu, and he's the youngest player in the team. He's year 11. He's had a great couple of games the last two weeks against Nelson College and um, St Andrews. Coming in at number four, we have Max Ansor and five Riley Buist. There are two locks. They're both year 12. This two, these two are going to be a great combo. Yeah, really looking forward to watching them two play today. Coming at number six, we have Isaac Francis, blindside flanker, second year in the first 15. Yeah, really looking forward to him play today as well. Seven is Jackson Mekan at flanker. Eight is Harry Nossiter. He is coming up from the 16 A's into the first 15 grade. Really looking forward to him play today. He's going to be the one to watch for. Coming in at nine is Max Ogata Johnson. Really looking forward to him play. Him and Harry Forrest, 19, really good combo. Harry Forrest played a great game against Nelson College last week. He's going to be one to watch for today. He's also in the second 11 cricket team. Really good athlete. Noah uh, is coming in at number 11 at left wing is Noah Sukuru. He's really quick on the wing, absolute gas. Number 12 is Curtis McDonald. He's our second five today. He oh, came no. down from Auckland. Hello, the start I am of the joined year. here today really with Todd player. Ormond. 13 is Guy Jensen at centre. Really good player. Played last year. 14 on the right wing is Lockie Cartwright. What a player he is, absolute gas as well. Coming in at our fullback hello, is hello. James White. He was set to play last year's college match but couldn't due to being injured. At number 16 is Hunter Rane, really good player. David Rogers, 17. Hoane Stewart at 18. Will Hayden at 19. Ollie Burrow at number 20 with those massive calves. 21 is Will Lindsay. 22 is Matt Robbins. It's, it's an awesome lineup for boys high. The one I really want to look out for is the locks. Riley Brewers and Max Antle. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Can't wait. We'll have a level up. Yeah. All right. I'm here. I'm here with Aaron Major, and I'm here with Todd Ormondy. Right. So, as I understand, you two were old boys at the school, so it's a huge honour standing here in front of you today. I've got some questions for you. I understand, Todd, you were the captain of the first 15 this time 25 years ago. Could you talk about a bit about that and what it was like in your experience here? Yeah, sure. Um, well, firstly, it's great to be here today. It's fantastic to, to Say be sorry, to Dominic Johnson, for running way over. We didn't realise what the time was. I've been at the game live. Um, you know, the first 15 is such a big, important part of the school. Um, but it's not the only part of the school, and I think, you know, the boys... You know, put a lot of pressure on themselves and, and for us at the time you know, we probably put a lot of that pressure on ourselves but looking back it's a fantastic time of your life, um, lots of memories and lots of lifelong friendships that we look back on. Aaron you're also uh, a member of the First 15, how has the game changed from 25 years ago? Oh it's changed a massive amount, I think professionalism's, uh, professionalism's had a lot to do with that. Um, I actually played my first game here, I was, I was a young buck, I was a fifth former or year 11 as you call it now, uh, Todd was my captain which went down that day, but it was still um, an awesome experience. Uh, look at the crowd today, the atmosphere was pretty similar. Uh, lots of proud old boys turn up to support you, uh, playing in front of your, your family and your friends. So uh, it's, a, it's an experience these guys remember forever. And uh, we've got a 25 year reunion at the moment. So no, we'll just talk about the those connections okay. live on. So um, yeah, it's great to be a part of the day, sun's shining. So looking forward to these boys get out there and enjoy themselves. I'll ask, I'll ask you yeah, about the weather sweet. conditions and you can say So that. did you guys uh, think that Christchurch Boys High School had a big role to play in your love for rugby? What do, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's um, it's an institution, uh, and it's it's known throughout the country. And you know, I've spent a lot of time in, in the North Island, and you know, we catch up regularly. I said that you know, I haven't been back to the game live for a number of years, but every year we'd catch up with not just boys high old boys, but Christ College old boys in Auckland, watch the game, and um, you know, gather around. And you know, whilst you're fierce enemies, you know, when you're at school and you're out there in the battle, um, you've got lifelong friendships not just within the school, but with the Christ College guys as well. And it's so you're still in contact with all these friends of yours that you made 25 years ago? Yeah, I think the, the unique part of, uh, of the brotherhood is um, you know, some you carry through, those relationships, um, and you've got others that um, 
you know you cannot see for 10, 15 years, and and you see them, and and it's at, you know moments like this where you catch up. Like we caught up with a lot of the college guys last night, and our and our old teammates, and um, you know some you haven't seen for 10, 15 years, and it, you just pick it up again. Those friendships, and they're lifelong friendships. Awesome. Uh, good to hear. Okay. What was your experience of, of college match when you were playing? I already mentioned the Crusher Boys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cross college really strong. Uh, the years I went through, so I uh, lost my first one here, lost my next one at um, at Christ College, and uh, fortunately, my my last year at school, uh, we managed to, to get the win. Um, but always really enjoyed the rivalry. It was uh, always within the spirit of the game, and um, as Todd alluded to before, you know a lot of those memories not only shared within your own side, but also with the Christ College boys as well. So that's what the game's all about. Uh, I just hope these guys go out there and, and place the game where it needs to be today, and they enjoy themselves and. They trust all the work they've done. They can go out there and um, yeah, have a great day. Yeah. Not on, yeah. Now, awesome. It was great having you guys. It was good, a good chat. It's awesome to see the perspective of two very famous old boys from the school. It was good having you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Back to you, commentators. Yeah, um, thanks for that, awesome. Ezekiel. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah what's, what's awesome. your thoughts on the weather today there, Juddy? It's a beautiful day. After some horrible weather earlier in the week, the rain stayed away. It's yeah. lovely. It's sunny. It's going to be a great day for rugby. The field's a bit muddy, so it might be a game more involving the forwards. Not much running rugby, but I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a good one. You yeah. love to see it, don't yeah. you, mate? I reckon it's going to be one or loss in the forwards Similar today. But just yeah. depends by how much if the packs play well or not. Yeah. Yep, it's going to be great, though. Um, the, the two players I want to see are Max Ansel and Riley Brewers. The two locks. I mentioned it before. You're going to be awesome. Right, I'll start. Okay. Hello, I'm joined here today with two very special guests, so I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Max, uh, I, was, I was here from 2015 through to 2019. Yeah, it's, um, it's hard to my tell. My name's Callum, I was finished. here from 26 through to 2020. Right, I understand that you two were very big parts of school rugby in the past. It is all behind us now, but I would like you to commemorate some of these awesome memories and tell the audience a bit about your experiences with the First 15. Yes, I, I was lucky enough to... Um, be picked in the first 15 in 2017, which is my year 11 year. We, we actually lost college match that day. Um, we, we were the team that broke that streak, but but then we, we were lucky enough to I had, I had two more cracks at it, and we, we won both those times. And I can still remember my year 13 year playing on here in that college the match, and just just the buzz and the energy was just was something that you, you could never describe. So. Yeah. And uh, the same question to you, Callum. Um, yeah, so I was first picked in the first 15 in year 12. Um, my year 12 was Maxie's year 13 year, so I was involved in this game out here. And that game, the environment in that game was something I'd never experienced before in just anything. Eh? The buzz and the atmosphere in the ground was second to none. And then last year, obviously with COVID, we had to play uh, College Day on a Saturday. Yeah, so I'll just but it was good. We still had a, um, a real good atmosphere. Unfortunately, we lost that game um, right on the right on the buzzer so that was not the greatest result but hopefully the boys can get one up today. Cool. Yeah. So we've had a bit of background about you two, uh, now could you please talk a bit about how the position of being the first 15 has changed you as a young man, uh, not just from being in the first 15 but being a member of Christchurch Boys High as well? Yeah I think I think being in the first 15 was like, was, was quite a big thing for school but I don't, I don't think that that's what the school should be sort of known for like just just to be in this sort of environment like if you're a rugby player if you're anything else like just the environment here is second, second to none and to, to come out of to come out of boys high as a as a f fine young man as they say like but yeah that, that that's the experience that i sort of take out callum what are your thoughts and predictions uh, for today's game oh, wait, what, what was um, the word you had? i think tradition. our boys have been too um, strong they've had they started the season really well and they've played yeah. really well the last couple of weeks for start despite not getting getting the two wins but i think the team they named today looked really strong yeah. And I think they should get up today in the dry weather. Right. Awesome. What are you thinking for the score? Do you reckon just roughly? Uh, I think we'll get up by at least forty. Um, <laughs> I can see Norris, my first try scorer. Um, James White popping out, popping out on the left left hand edge and feeding Noah for the first try. So, how do you think the boys are feeling out on the out in the field at the moment? Uh, they'll be excited. Um, I've a I've actually talked to a couple of them. I've talked to young young Max, the halfback, and. And he's buzzing. This is this yeah. is his first college match, so I, I think that they'll be nervous as hell. But like once they get out there, the the adrenaline and the and the buzz around from the crowd will, will get them up, and it'll just be like any other, any other game of rugby. So pretty excited to see them go and go and have some fun. Yeah, awesome. Any score prediction from you, Callum? Um, 
Looking for James White to be top try scorer in the game. I reckon we'll get up. It's 40 to 12. 40 to 12. Right. And uh, another, just a small question. Uh, do you think that you are looking to pursue uh, a career in rugby in the future? What are, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, that's sort of where I'm going to at the moment. Playing playing some good club footy um, against Cal and, and all and a lot of mates from Boys High, so it's pretty cool to play against them. And um, yeah, yeah, it's something that I'm sort of looking forward to. It is a very real thing at this school. I mean, this school has set up a lot of legendary rugby players. Um, uh, in the future, what I would also like to know is what would you think uh, in, is in your future for in terms of rugby? Oh, I'm just looking to enjoy my rugby at the moment and take it as far as I can in the future. We'll so see where I get to. And out there on the field, we have a great turnout today. I don't know how how do you the think job. Uh, the culture has been upheld by the school? <coughs> yeah, it's, it's changed quite quite dramatically since since I was year nine. And in year nine, I can remember us we were all standing across the dead ball line in that in that eighty nil match. But to see the boys in the stands, that that was pretty enjoyable up there as well. I think I think they they'll make a lot of noise up there. So we'll board talk. Awesome. And what about you? What do you think? Uh, how do you think the culture of the school has been held up by the boys? I think there's been a lot. To, I've been told there's been a lot of talk this week about how how we're supposed to uh, sort of behave at these sort of games, and I think the boys have actually responded in the last couple of years that I've been involved really well. I think the game we had out here in 2019. You start off and I'll just start letting off some stats. Controlled by the school was was outstanding, and I know last year was a bit. Ups, tell him to talk really about minutes really worth of content about previous just results. Just Callum, having a dip into the past, what was the experience like of your first college match? Yeah, well, I was out here. I remember um, I'd never really played midweek footy before, and um, we'd had a midweek game the week before, uh, the couple of weeks before that, and we sort of got taken out after the first or second period, and we went over to Adam's house, and we had been an hour, a couple hours there, with just downtime, and I just was not used to that. Eh? I was getting real nervous. And then you come out here and you remember warming up on that far field and everyone just streams through the gates and it's just something, it's just unbelievable. And then you're in the sheds and especially here at Boys High, the sheds are so close to the ground and when um, in that year the boys were actually behind that dead ball line over there. So you could hear every single noise in the sheds and oh, shit and bricks out. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Excuse my but language. Um, but yeah, and then the game sort of, after that, you know, the game sort of takes care of itself. You just chuck your processes, but it's, yeah, you just got to enjoy the environment. Yeah, awesome. What about you, Max? What are, what are your fond memories of what it was like uh, being an early bugger in the first 15? Yeah, as I said, I was, I was a young buck in the team, but it was good to have guys like, like I played with the likes of Louis Chapman and Alex Harford, Tahu Carr, those guys that, that have played a, ahead of me. So to, to have their oh, okay, experience sweet. and their oh, help like, really helped me and... Um, to, to bounce off their energy and their confidence that uh, it helped my game quite a lot. Was, is there anyone you can name in particular who has helped you throughout your rugby career at the school? Um, I, think, I think a couple of them are some of my coaches. I was really lucky in junior rugby. I had Mr. Taylor, who, who, who coached the first team way before that, and I had Arch and Drury and Mr. Fort. Like, I was really lucky in the, in the time that I was here, but I know that they're in good hands with the likes of Andy and Pat, so yeah, it's lo looking good for the future. All right, Callum Simpson, Max Hughes, fresh blood out of Christchurch Boys High School. Maybe we'll see them on the field playing professionally. Who knows? Enjoy the game, boys. Excellent. Thanks for thanks for having us, boys. Thanks very much. A game with passion, rivalry, and legacy and history. It's full of everything. Easton, can you tell me a little bit about the past score? Yeah. The first game was in 1892. Christ College won that one by 34-0. 136 college games have come since then. Christ College has won 84 of them. I'm oh, sorry, Boys High has won 84 of them. Christ College has won 43. Only nine college mats have ever been drawn. The school's biggest win, Christchurch Boys High School's biggest win, was in 2015 with a final score of 60 0. This was the college game played in front of the newly opened John McGritty Grandstand, which allowed the game to return to return to Straven Road after more than a decade. Christchurch has the longest, Christchurch Boys High School has the longest winning streak to date, winning 16 years in a row from 2001 to 2016.
Last year's game was a Christ College victory. The game wasn't decided up until the last five minutes to go, with Jack Jones scoring a great try and putting Christ College up 27 to 28. And that was the final score in that game. It was an awesome game, and I hope this year's something, something just like that. I'm really excited, mate. I'm so yeah. pumped. Next year, I played also a great part in that game last year where he had to make a good drop kick from probably 22 metres away, and that set him up for, um, that set Jack Jones up for that try, and then he was able to get the conversion and win by one point, I believe it was. It sure did. It was awesome to see. It was great to be there. The atmosphere was awesome. The yeah. atmosphere today here is awesome. Nothing like I've ever seen before. It's yeah. massive. I can't wait. I can't wait for the teams to run out. I can't wait for the first scrum. Yeah, game. can't wait for the Huckers as well. That's coming up shortly. Um, Christ College longest winning streak was four years in a row. There's been multiple occasions where they've done that as well. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to, Jody? I'm looking forward to the lineouts, the scrums, the hits, the intensity, everything, man. These players go through so much to play this game. It's one of the most important games of the year. I'm really excited. As I've said so many times today, I'm excited. Um, yeah. There's just so much anticipation for this game, isn't it? The boys talk about it all year, and then. You don't get much schoolwork done on today, do you? Like a day like today. No, you don't, mate. Yeah, still just talking about the rugby. And Friday after this game as well. I can't imagine there's going to be much schoolwork being done. Nah. Being, being at school at Boys High throughout this college match has been played. It's the day you look forward to the most on the year. It's the biggest day on the calendar for these guys. And it's, it's got to be great. Doesn't get much bigger than this. The it boys, the first 15 players love it. They love the atmosphere. They feed off it. They play even better code with this atmosphere, I reckon. They do. It's awesome. You love to see it. Yeah. So, um, wet weather for the pre previous few days. Uh, forwards, one of lost in the forwards today, I reckon. What rugby, what combos are you looking forward to seeing for today? I've mentioned before that the lock combination for boys high, Riley Brewis and Max Ansel, they're massive guys, they're young guys, they're going to be awesome to see. Riley Brewis, he's got hands like dinner plates, he's he going to be a key part of their line out game. It's going to be awesome to see. I want to see the first line out. I want to see the first scrum. The front rows from both sides are massive. And it's going to be awesome to see who pushes one team over or who pushes the other team over. I'm really looking forward to see the boys high um, scrum with Sam Foster and Regis Jones as the props. I'm just, these two are both big boys pushing their weight around those scrums. Here as we see Sam Foster leading out the Christchurch boys high team. The oh, boys are fizzing. Yeah, boys are fizzing. Uh, the atmosphere doesn't get much bigger than this. The thoughts Ten running through these players' heads would be insane. It, They've lived us. all through their school life wishing to play this game when they're finally here. The boys are fizzing. Boys are yelling. Boys are hyping them up. Doesn't get much better. Until we go here at Christchurch Boys High School. It's all to be win or lost right now. Right now. See, see the lap of honour around the field, going around the boys from Christchurch Boys High. It just must be so amazing having all that oh, cheering along be. as you're walking around. Be. Can't get much better. Uh, yeah. It doesn't get much better than this, mate. <laughs> Here comes the Christ College boys, leaving the sheds. And here we have Christ College. Led out by their captain. Led out by Johnny Lee, the captain, then number five for Christ College. They're running out now. Ready to face off. Through the posts. Crowd getting cheering as well. Crowd loving it. Here we see the lineups for the Hucker. Almost like war, isn't it? It is, mate. It almost is. We'll let you listen into the Hucker now. As we see the players, the veterans, laying down their caps. 
at Boys High. I know you've got to play eight games to lay down that cap. It is a true honour to be able to do that and stare down the other team while they're forming their haka. goes into that. Such fizz, such fizz. The boys love it. They're getting past that halfway line just to give them a good fashion stare down. Up in their faces, boys higher, standing their ground. They're loving it, wow. they're loving it. Oh, you love to see it. Good scenes, absolute scenes. What, what tradition, history, passion shown by the players there. As we're waiting for the start now. Boys getting in the huddles. The thought that's going through their head. Crowd really getting amongst it, really cheering their team along here. Captain's name. <laughs> Talking <laughs> tactics. Sam, yeah, Moss Fizz. Do you know his one? Boys high spreading out across the field. Oh, I see Christ it. College will be receiving by the looks of it. Oh, fizzing, fizzing. The boys are loving it. The boys are clapping. Here we go. Well, good, Sam. What was his uh, captain's name? Do you remember? James White. About to kick off. The captain of Christ College. Johnny. Johnny. Number eight there, Harry Nossiter. He'll be one to watch out for today. Ready to chase that down. Moa beside him. So from go. right to left, from left to right, boys high kick off. Good take. Go down to contact. Great tackle there, down in contact. Oh, Great wait. take. It's kicked oh. away by Idens. It snapped up there. Borries got it. Good hit. Loose ball picked up. Oh, Tunga Johnson. Hey, hold up. 
Good hit. Gives it back Good door. Good Good wee grubber. Picked up well. Chip and chase. And it's going and it goes out. into touch. Not a bad start from college. Got some meters up Getting there. The field position. Boys high strong line out though. And here's the line out game I was talking about. Riley Brewis and Max yeah. Ansel. Yeah, I want to see what they bring yeah. to the table. Good for the We've got Moa in at hooker throwing that ball in. The young one. Good take the boys. Well up there by Max Ansel. Out to Kurt. Oh. And hits up there just, just in front of the 20. Good kick from Harry, good Harry clearance. Clears. Big one. And that's another midfield bomb. Oh, snatched by Harry. And he's out gone James off into his face. And look, he's, he's got some space, space out there. Back to Otunga Johnson. Otunga Johnson beats one. Oh. And he's dropped, lost the ball down snatched there. Snatched up by College. Picked up by College. Hines out of halfback. Backdoor pill. Bit of a shove there. That's all right. Wide. See, got room out wide. That's food wide. Got room, cuts back in. Benji Ward in a bit of space. Oh, great defense. Great Holding stuff. Him up. And it's turned yeah. over. Benji Ward leading the tackle, being held up with great defense by Lockie Carr right from Boys High. Hold him up. That's good work. He's not only absolute gas on that wing, he's also a very strong man. Just patient on the first one, Matt. How do you play to have out of the wing? Get through the process. Right. Stability up. As we hear the chance from Guy Jensen, the centre for Christchurch Boys High. Max about to feed that ball into the scrum. Harry number 10. Got Lockie Cart right behind him. Cut! Kurt next to him. Fine! Sit! Steady! First time getting to see that big forward pack from Boys High work. And it's a solid scrum from both sides. Out to Harry. Oh, oh he's lost it. Hard on. It's picked up. Oh, and he locks it on. So another Not restart. Christ College in a great position to attack here. You know, now we really get to see their scrum work, see their halfback, see Sam Idiom's work in that scrum. As we see that propping combination of Marcus Hamilton and Jack Jones in the scrum, see what they have to offer against, against Sam Forster and Regan Jones from Boys High. Fine! Sam Idiom's waiting to put the ball in the scrum. There you go, out the back, off the next year. Oh, oh, good hit, bumper! Why Jensen? Oh, oh a, a head off the ball. Bit sloppy to start off with here, do you reckon, Hamish? Yeah, I'd agree, a bit sloppy from both sides, actually. Just probably those nerves in the first five minutes of the game that you just want to no, get rid seven, of. Leave it, seven. Yeah, yeah, it man, is. One of the biggest games Go of your career. Gone. Jack Jones tips it, tips it away. It's gone away to Jaden Saar. Jaden Saar hits up, gets pushed back. Oh, oh. next year, good recovery. Puts a grubber through. Oh. Guy Jensen getting there first, in my opinion. We'll see what happens, though. See what the rest call is. See what the call is. Great stuff here. Great play by, Bo yeah. by Christ College. Good wee grubber from next year. A great wee grubber. The vision. No try. No try awarded. And it's a penalty up here. Offside, for offside. Christ College once again in great attacking that's the, area. That's the start that Christ College need in this game. So they're really to get looking above for. boys high in the first five minutes is really key. And they've done that and they'll take the three. And see. Callum Summerfield, by the looks of it, see what he's got for a nudge. You'd expect him to make it from here, though, wouldn't you, Hamish? Mate, anything can happen. True that. We talked about the pre-game nerves in the first five minutes.
Cows on the field lining up. Pinpoint accuracy, like the first tee off at the Masters. Callum Summerfield gets the three and puts Christ College in a 3-0 lead over boys oh. high in the first five minutes. That's exactly the start they were looking That's for. A put, great some, start. put some points on the board early. That's just really good stuff from That's Christ College. That's the start College. you want if you're a Christ College fan. If you go to Christ College, if you're an old boy. That's the start you want, mate. Boys high again to kick off. High out kick left. Off, a short kick off. Oh, no, got to 22. Sam in there. Sam Williams. Oh, oh charged, charged down. down. Off he goes. And boys high regather the ball. It's hit up by Sam Forster. Sam Forster being held on the tackle, being pushed back. Lost. But it's gathered up by Christ College. Jack Smith takes the ball and hits up. Probably going to nudge from here would be my guess. Yep. And next, next year, year nudges it. It doesn't Tepi fall picked up, touch. Pick, picked up by Harry Forrest. Out to James White. <laughs> it's been turned over. Yeah, we'll let it go, we'll let it go. Oh, he's got some space in the wing there. Ward puts him, Kick puts in. Nudge in. And it's regathered. Oh, picked up by Boyce High. Great save. Good From Guy Jensen. Good. Oh, he's through. But it's together by Christ College and they've Try. scored. They've Try. scored. What a start from Even Christ Blue. College. Oh. Even White. Get out of the white. Angus Hammett. It's good aggression. I want to say it was Angus this Hammett. I'm not quite sure. This is the offside. Okay, as soon as there's a line break, there's yeah, a Angus Hammett scoring the try for Christ outside. College. What a what start. What a try. What a start. Yeah. The Lucky. kick from Benji Ward. The great counter attack from being almost in there 22. The turnover. Two minutes earlier. One from one today. Yeah. Callum yeah. Summerfield to convert. Let's see if he's got it in him. Just on that 22 there. Eight minutes in. 15 in from touch. This is really starting to test his kicking ability. Oh, he's taken oh. the seal work. No conversion there. So Christ College to lead, 8-0. It's eight eight minutes. minutes. In. Great start from Christ College. James White again. James White to kick off. It's taken down there by Louis Bethel. Good hit. Oh, oh, great ball. Good wee tackle from Lockie Cartwright there. Next year, through. Uh, he's tackles. got space again. Sam Idians. Space on the wing. Oh, good it's tackle. And a head up by Jack Smith. Got driven back a couple of meters there. Sam Idians trying to squirm through there for a couple of extra meters. It's Not very often Marcus you see a, a prop doing a halfback half pass. They've got skills, these boys. Oh, he's oh, cut back in. The show and go from Angus Hammond. They're over the ball. See what they can do here. And he's not releasing the ball. Great wee piece of work. It's good work of boys like you over that ball early. Blue on their feet. Holding on. Kick for touch here. Harry Forrest. OC's son. Harry Forrest, the son of OC. Drop catch there in the crowd, looked like. <coughs> but a good touch finder. Here we are, boys high line out again. Mower to throw. 
up by Max Hansen. Oh, taken Mark. down, very good. Max pass to Kurt. Out the back. Big bomb, no space out there. Snatched up. Idens finds halfback this time. And it's kicked away again, finding grass this time. Picked up by Harry. Nudge out to back right field. Oh, great, great nudge. nudge. Great, kick. great kick. That's perfect. That's the that's what boys are looking for. They need a bit of time in their half. The vision from Harry Forrest, seeing the space up there, chooses to kick there and he finds a great touch finder. Just inside the 22. Here we get to see Jack Jones. Jack Jones to throw the prop throw in. This is interesting. Not the hooker. And number two, Jack Smith getting ready to lift by the looks of it. Nope. Good throw. Safe as houses there in the lineup. Idens kicks out of half back. Oh, James oh, Wood, James oh Wood goes through the middle. And he offloads. And they're taken down there. Great play off Looks the like he was just skating on ice then. But the Christ College have turned it over. Great turnover from Christ College. Off. It's been charged down. Christ College regathers the ball. And boys side players are over there early. And they get the penalty. Great work. If Boys High can manage to hold that ball somehow, I think they're going to be really threatening in this game. With the skills they've seen with James White out of fullback, running the ball, breaking tackles, it's awesome to see, mate. If they can hold the ball, they're going to be in for the money. Looking for three points here. T-Boy running the tee out for him. And it's James White to kick. Kicking into the Christ College supporters down on their try line. Line it up. Line it up. Um, taking this time, good to see. Great nudge. Straight over. Straight through. That's great to see. So boys who managed to close the gap. Only one try here now. Non-converted try as well. The converted try could put them in the lead here. From the kick oh, off. that's a good that's kick. Out. Great territory from Christ College. Yeah, ideal kick from Christ College. Gets them back in their heart, back in their 22 even. Looking for another try opportunity here. Oh, good. Out to Kurt. And Curtis McDonald hits up. But it's a penalty for offside. Harry Forrest takes that ball again. OC Junior, some would even call him. Harry Forrest, OC Junior, the son of OC. Yeah, so Sam, just about half a yard. And a good so touch finder time. from Harry Forrest. Good meters, very good meters. Bang on halfway. You take that from there. Oh, thrown lost a out the back. Out. Picked it's up by number eight. Hendrix Taylor. Away from Sam. Oh, one more. He's got space out there. Back in. Back inside. Gone through one tackle. Down in the second. Sam Idians out to the prop. On to six. Quick tip side. Oh. Put down. Next year. Wide With pill. With a cutout ball. Oh. It's finding grass. Lockie Cartwright looking to hit him, looking to hit him. Oh, 
Oh, good piece of work. Fiji board regathering their ball after. But it's been turned over. Great work. Oh, Tucker Johnson kicks, however, it's charged. It's back in Christ Collar Chance. Jack Smith with the ball now. Hold back, Lou. Sam out to. That's a Jack Johns. Good rerun from Louis Bethel. Oh, good run. Next year, out to Sam, by the looks of it. It's quick, fast play from Provide Christ College. It's good to see. Side. We love to see it. Oh. It's, a, it's a drop goal. That's interesting to see in the first 10 minutes, or 20 minutes or so. Don't see that too often. The drop goal from Nick Shearer. Mind you, though, that did give Christ College uh, almost a game winning. They did win the game though, last year. Yeah, they did. That's exactly right, mate. That out that drop goal and then that great try from so Christ College look to extend their lead oh, good work guys good time in that space Callum Summerfield 50% today And it's got it. Great conversion. Straight through him. Great stuff from Christ College. They're really on the front foot here, Christ College. They're playing so well. Boys High can't maintain the ball. Christ College always I've winning the breakdown. I've just seen that step ahead at the moment. Yeah, they are. Boys High haven't had much time in the uh, 22, though. Taken by Louis Bethel. And he makes a good carry out to the 40. And the Charged kick's been down. charged again. It's through. And it's popped up in Sakura's hands. Give it Sakura it. goes. Sakura Go. scores. All the way. Noah Sakura. Thanks for the coming. The fastest man in the world. Charged down from Sam Idian's kicks. Great counter attack. That's what you love to see. Boys getting fizzed. Back in it. Going to be a difficult nudge from out there though, won't it be? It'll be a difficult kick from the sideline. But the most important thing, boys higher on the scoreboard now with a try. Making that 8 11. Did you see who, who, was, who charged the kick, mate? I thought, I didn't know who it was, but I know Sam Eddians was the one that was kicking it. Sakura, too much speed for them. But here's a kick from James White from the sideline. It's going to be a tough one. 100% today. Only had one kick, though, to be fair. Just really got to block that noise out and focus on the kick. Into his stride. He's what got it. What a nudge. Thanks for coming, he says. Thanks for coming. He's put on a show for us today, James he White. He's saved his houses today with that nudge. Just keep them behind your kicker. Kick off finding hands this time. Sam Foster over the ball. Out to Moa. Moa heads up, crossing the 20. Go, go, Harry Forrest. Good kick. Great kick. Taken by Angus Hammett. And kick another back. Kick by oh. him. Not a bad kick. Great kick. Great kick. Finding grass, finding the touchline. That's like what that. you want from a kick. 20 metres out. Moa's okay. been playing very well today. Yeah, yeah we've had some good lineup for him, actually. Oh. Could be quick throw. 
retained by 47. Not finding hands, but hold on. Still end up, ended up on the boys' high side. Harry Forrest out there, looking for a nudge. He gets a good touch finder. Nearly being charged down. It was inches away from the hands of the Christ College defense. Yeah. Here we have the number three, Jack Jones, throwing it again. This is interesting here. Over. Sam. Yeah. Oh, he's through. Beat him one. Down by two. Nick Shear out to. Out to. Sam for Johnny Lee. Out to Lee, the captain. The skip ball to Hendrix Taylor. And oh, Taylor's in space. space. He's got a run on him. Good shot but he's been pushed into there. touch. Good work. It was a good run from Taylor. Good work from Cartwright. Strong man he is. <coughs> Line out short. Short. Out to Moa. And Moa oh, runs cross field. One. Out to Harry. Good nudge. Jack Jones taking the throw again. Seems some good line out throws today. We have, mate, we have. Who's fine here now, make contact at the front. But it's snapped. Oh, Jack Jones. Jack Jones with a good run down the outside. Sam Williams. Hendricks Taylor. He's still going. Getting driven back, though. Sam for Jaden Sart. Gone out to the right edge there. It's gone back in for a great tackle. Good counter rock. Oh. Good play. No six. Cross call is really getting over the ball fast here. It's giving the He's ball. Got one room on the wing. Good tackle. Lockie Cartwright really getting in there. Lockie Cartwright's made some really crucial tackles today. He has. He saved a couple of tries, in my opinion. Oh, good hit. It pushed him back. Pushed back. Good meters for the game from Bruce High. Oh, Rutherford he's Bradford. Thrown. Sean oh, Rutherford Bradford breaks the line and scores a try. The strength on that man. Wow. Right through Bruce High's defense. Good shove off. I don't know who, but great shove. No, 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 down to the try line. Turnover. Plonked it down. Thanks for coming, he says. Sean Rutherford Bradford. He played last year's college game and he scores a try this year. Great start from Christ College there. It's awesome to see. They're really on the front foot here, Christ College. Lining up for the kick. Benji Ward. And it's Callum Summerfield. Straight down. And the he's middle. got another one. Wow. So the difference if, if you guys just make contact with the front. So 18 10 to Christ College. The the ball, so we play on. Hey mate, so to do it again, just make contact at the front. James Wright. Eight point off. lead. It's awesome to see, mate. Eight points ahead. With the short kicker from Boys High. Oh, great tactic. It's been regathered. Backs out to. Oh, to Harry Forrest. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, it picks up. Hey. Penalty offside.
Nice college fight, Tom. Great catch from someone up in the stands there. Yeah, well done to you, mate. Pack of sausages for you. Nice guys ready to throw it in. Sam Williams. Oh. Tackle, release. release. Backdoor play. Great kick. And the kick from Angus Hammett. But it's out on the full. He hasn't done much wrong today, Angus Hammett, but he's kicked out but out on the full. Thank you very much, boys. High size. And they've got to use this to their advantage, boys. High. They haven't had that, that much time in this part of the field, so they've really got to use this to their advantage. A couple times they did. They came up with a few points, though, which is good it's to see. It's hit up by Misham. to Max. Leave it now, good. Otunga Johnson. Cross yeah, college over the ball, ball quickly. Oh. Quick tucks on. One more. Off to Sakura again. Oh, he's lost it forward. Oh, and they've got it in a bit of space. Quick nudge, see what he can do with it. Carry back. And oh, he's Boyce. through three. James White, sorry. Puts a nudge Gilby up. Chip. Great meters. Great meters. He's gone out on the full oh. again. Two out on the full kicks. Look at the space up about a minute. You won't see that too often in the space of a minute. <laughs> no, right that's clean. Over the ball. Oh, prop doing the kick and throw again. Great little wee nudge through there. And a smart touch find to the wind down the clock. Lower throws. Good take from Harry Nossiter. Kurt. 3 1 tackle. Head up in the middle of the field. We got some space out there. Oh, almost an intercept. Gets it away. Throws back in. Oh, it's a he's college. to a college player. And he's away. Kicks it. Oh. Something's going on here. I can't quite see it though. that ball to the scrum. Amazing scenes with the scene of the boys high fans. You love to see it. The pride, the passion. All the boys getting amongst it from year 9 to year 13. Still boys high scrum here. We've seen Cross College play a fast game of footy today. They're really on the front foot and they're owning boys high nearly every way. Oh, down the blind. There he goes. Oh, he's ran out. Ran out, put a foot on the touch line. Smart, me, smart we move though from Max. The number nine, Max Otaka Johnson. Christ College looking to go quick here.
Hendricks Taylor. Good we head up from him. Oh, it's oh, got an inside ball, but they've oh. lost it. It's coming for Boys High player. And they call it a knock on. Boys High. Taking the scrum. <laughs> Ref seemed to be having a weak conversation with the lads. I want to get these scrums right. We've seen a few scrums collapse, but hopefully this one can go up nice and smoothly. Max getting ready to put that ball in the scrum. Oh, good Samuel chat. You love to see it. This guy's about to lock your car right. And Curtis McDonald's beating him the tackle. Harry Nossiter. 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 Good Nossiter. little Sorry. run from him. Late footwork from Harry Nossiter too. Riley Burris. Down that tackle. Oh, lost. Christ College recovered that. Nudge from Sam. Harry Forrest, James White. James White, kicks it. Looking for touch out there. Finds grass, finds touch. Great, touch. Great kick. Great. Great meters from James. The vision from, from James White to Ball see side. grass in that position, all the way that downfield, the An boot, the trusty boot there. of James White. We've seen it loads today. It's awesome to see, mate. Not just his conversions, but just not just the game. not just his place kicking, but his yeah, his kicking off his boot in midfield game. It's awesome. <laughs> and the one out, the line out won by Boys High. Mawa in there by the looks of it. Mawa fighting. The young year eleven. Yeah, oh, Moa just year 11. Riley. Starting for the first 15 is a pretty big achievement. Loose ball down there. Picked up by Riley. Shove one Riley off. Riley Bruce loses it, but it's a penalty. Right in front. You'd take the points from here, wouldn't you? I think you would, mate. By the way James has been kicking, you'd think he'd make it from here. James White's trusty boot. for touch but looks of it. Yeah, they're pointing to the corner. They're trying to get some points here. Looking for the try. Good little nudge out from Harry. Oh, boys, I got an attacking attitude. They want five, they don't want three. Moa, he's been a great asset in this game with his lineup photos so far. Short, we won. Sam over the ball there. Oh. Could have been a knock on in there. Could have been one. We just didn't see it. Play on. And it's a turnover oh, again. Cross college, college. And they build it away downfield. And it's picked up by James White again. Safe hands. But it's a penalty to Cross College. Wow. The turn of events. Quick turnover, boot up field, little run through, and then now you've got the ball again with the penalty. We're going overtime here. It's last play in the half. And it's won by Boys High. Good work from Nossi with the looks of it. Miss Boys High really there. looking for a try in this last play Mowa of the game. Moa offloads to Sakuru. Oh, bumps Sakuru off one. beats one. Sit down, he says. Three, seven. Three. 
next to Nossi. Oh, oh my! Oh, what a hat! <laughs> See you later, he says. Thanks for coming. Good night. And a period of Christ College. We've got a minute overtime. Yeah, no, good. Okay. That's half. And Christ College beat Christ College winning this half by a country mile. The strength from Rutherford Bradford in the try. Great work from Christ College. Really believe that half. You can just tell. It's really yeah. good on the major front for Christ College. High, just got yeah, them right now. That early in the first half, we saw the ball go out to the wing, down to Benji Ward, who put a little kick through, and and it was scored by Angus Hamlet down in the in the left-hand corner. Christ College has just really spent a lot more time in Boys High's half than Boys High has in Christ College. I think that's the deciding factor in this half so far. Yeah, um, as we see, Christ College are always over the ball fast. They're always there before Boys High. Christ College have, all, uh, have been on top since, since the kickoff, really? Really, yeah. And they got that first three points, and then got a wee try, as you can see. Yeah. So it'll be in just interesting to see what happens in the second half. Hopefully it's more evened out, so we get a great game. Like, I thought I liked last year's game. Let's hope so. Sorry, guys, this is going to be taken again. Oh, that's all good. Um, James White, really good kicking from him. Hey. Yeah, was, really good runs from him too. Yeah. He's been in a few defenders, defenders and the try from Nova Sakura down on the left-hand side. It's a great wee try, wasn't it? Yeah. Real good counter-attack. That left-hand edge for Boys High is looking a lot better. You see Boys High lining up to do that hucker on our half on the try line. So much tradition in this, isn't there? Yeah, there is, mate. Yeah, but that, that left-hand edge for Boys High on, on attack looks amazing. Lucky well, Shanklin getting ready to lead it. He is, he's a role model to all the people at Boys High, I'd say. He's in the second 11. He's just one of those great blokes you love to be around. And yeah. everyone just looks up to him. Hucker's getting ready to start now. <laughs> Christ College coming out now, looking to do their Hucker too. Here we see the Huckers. From both teams, it's awesome this tradition. The boys are fizzing, the boys are loving it. Look at that, look at that shot. Pride and passion. Boys giving the start now. Lucky Shanklin coming out the front. Christ College. No, 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 the boys are coming well. back. Yeah, sorry.
Wow, what tradition. That's amazing to see. Awesome boys teams from both schools. Schools get amongst the boys. It is really cool. It must be cool to be a first team player out there, having your school doing a hunting for you. Loving it. Must be awesome. About to get this second half in the way. So from left to right, Christ College kickoff. Boys high. And boys high immediately booted away. In for touch. Not too many metres game there from OC Junior. Yeah. Going to see some great rugby here, I've got a feeling, Hamish. Yeah, mate, I agree. 35 minutes to play. It's a scrum to boys high. The throw not been straight. It's a close ball game. Only eight points. But as we've seen, Christ College, they've really outplayed boys high in the first half. And boys high are pretty lucky that it's only eight points. The difficult thing is that's a try, a converted try and a penalty. Yeah, or another try. Yeah. Going to be two great plays here from Boys High. It's not over till the fat lady sings, though. You're right. Good pass. Harry, oh, a little bit of cheeky move. And he's in a bit of space, space Harry. Oh, go oh, boy. to Guy Jensen. Guy Jensen gives a long poo. He's throwing. Right to James Wine. James Wine. Back inside. Lucky Cal. Oh, wow. Well, lucky Cal. Great the try from the scrum. Yeah. Wow, win. Me, oh my, I've enjoyed that. Great start. Yes, the boy. First second half from Crowley's High, then. That's what you want to see. The boys are loving it. Really pumped. Should be a guaranteed conversion here from James White, who's had an absolute wow. great game with his boot. Wow, wow, wow. We're just talking about how hard it's going to be for Boys High. We've gone and done that. Harry Forrest, the break from him. Then the break and the long pass from Guy Jensen. Great the run, oh, Harry. The, the run from the James bait. White. How good. OC Junior, you can really tell. Back inside to Lockie Cardwright. Amazing play as James White goes up to kick the, kick the conversion. I hope he makes it from here. Oh, good shot. He's got it over. Oh, he's 17 18. One point game. Great to see. Awesome stuff. Cole's getting ready to restart here. So Christ College, only after two minutes, find themselves kicking off again. Here we go. Who's under it? It's a clear. Good kick by Forry. Harry. Finds the crowd. Here we have Cos getting ready to throw it in. As we see Jack Johns throwing again. Seems great lineouts from both sides. Yeah, there is, mate. Oh, cut around the back. Cut around the back. Wow. Nathan McKenzie, good little run from him. Oh, oh pass, pass goes to ground. Moa brought him to the ground then. Good Angus Hammond breaking a few tackles though. He's had a good game. Oh, pa up. Another pass goes to ground. Bit of sloppy work from Christ College to start off this half. It's only three minutes in. They've got plenty of work. Another inside oh, ball. They've lost it. Smock on. Boys oh, High just forcing some penalties here. Forcing the knock-ons. Forced, boy, yeah, boys high forcing some errors. It's great to see. So boys high to feed the scrum. As we all know, last scrum ended up in a great try Good. from Lockie Cardwright. Harry Forrest really set it up, though. Yeah. Great piece of work from him. He's a talent, isn't he? Wonder if they can go all the way this time. Yeah. 
Curtis McDonald, I think it was, hits up. Oh, oh Tahiri. Good little nudge from him there. Oh, what a piece of work. Oh, quick throw. In. Good little hit. And he's paid enough. And boys might find boys the ball again. Great piece of work from Noah there. Straight over the ball. Takes it. Thanks for coming, he says. And Isaac Francis, no, sorry. Harry Nossiter hits up. It's hit up in the midfield. Oh, Moa, great pass. One more. Lockie space Cartwright on the wing. A bit of space. Lockie Cartwright. Throws it back in some oh, infield, but he throws it a mile forward. Thought I was going to see another try for another second then. Ah, uh, Christ College had him wrapped up easy. It's great defense there from Christ College. Go on, just scrum here. So Christ College to feed the scrum. Boisfire pushing the back, right, scrum. and oh, they've won the ball. Lockie Cardwright, off to Guy Jensen, Second off to Curtis, Curtis McDonald. Pace. Curtis McDonald Got a slows down, Goose is good. Fins off one, fins off two. And fighting the ground there. Boisfire really looking to score now. And they find the ball. Out to Riley. Oh. Brillis gets there. Brewis scores, Riley Brewis, the boy on debut. Great try from Riley. Wow, we really set up from Kurt though. Wow Kurt pushes wee. off three players, and for the first time this game, line. boys high take the lead. Great wow. try, set up well by the Kurt. The work in the front row, winning that ball, winning the scrum. And he's Curtis McDonald, the run in the middle, and then the great try from Riley Brewis. The two Aucklanders. Working together, Working scoring together. a great try and Walking taking the lead there. for Boys High. Great wow, we. And James White to kick again. He's 100% from the conversion rate, I think. He is. He's going backwards or? No, no, no. He's 15 in from touch. Mean, one here from earlier. He hopes makes it again. Can cause a collapse or anything. Oh, and he's got nice. it over. Thanks for coming. Sneaking out and past the, the left upright. Wow, we. Two tries in the first eight minutes. So Christ College to restart again. From left to right. Oh, a little bit of a banana there going. Charged and the kick's down. been charged. Try for Christ, Christ College. College and scored straight away. Too easy. Thanks for coming, they say. Couldn't get much easier than that, could you, Hamish? That's dinner on a plate. That'll be met for Christ College, lunch spoon fit a try. Cheeky we charge down. Little we run straight on the posts. And it's a one-point ball game. You'd think Kyle's College would take the lead here. By one. Not too much pushing here. Too easy. And Callum Summerfield kicks the conversion. Easy. Easy as that. Seven points. Thanks Spoon for coming. Spoon fed on a plate. Wow, we straight off the restart. Christ College score. So now from right to left, boys high kick off. James White, what's he going to do here? Puts nice one up high. high. Through one tackle. Making good meters off the kick off. And 
another boot downfield. And James White puts another kick in. And here's the great chase. little kick. He's straight after that. And it's gone great out. Great energy, great meters. Yeah, Thanks it's good going. meters. It's good field position for boys high. If they can win this line out, they've got a real good chance of scoring another try. But the thought through Christ College's head are, are just going to be holding that ball. Defending that line as well. Yeah, defending that line and holding that ball. You can't score tries without the ball. Yeah, it's true. Jack Jones, quickly throwing. Retain college. Safest house is there in the line out. Oh, I thought he had that for a second. That's good pressure. Out to Forry. Hello. Out to Gus. Oh. Christ God, knock on. Got a Matt work Robbins. There from both teams. Matt Robbins coming on for boys high. Number 22, Matt Robbins. Played in last year's college match returning this year. We'll have a scrum, they say. Oh, bit of push and shove. You love to see it. Haven't seen much this game, though, have we? No, nah, it's, it's been a really well played game from both sides. No injuries as well. No players gone down hurt. Good to see. Off to Matt Roberts. Oh. Great Jensen, great oh, pill, slips right. down. Gets back up and keeps going. Makes a good break. Great work from boys high. Oh, Tunga Johnson gives it to James Wright. Oh. James Wright hits it up. Nice little step. <laughs> Cross College being pinged there, coming around the side. Not, not coming through the breakdown properly. Not today, the ref says. Not today. I'd be interested to see if the take the three points here. Shot, please. Yep, they're going for the shot. James Wright, great kicker. Yes, correct. Second or third time finding himself in this exact same position. Flying himself up. And James Wright kicking at 100% today. He's found himself in this spot many times today. And he's got it. Great Straight kick. Well, boys. And boys try to take the lead yet again. 27-25. What a great game of rugby we've seen so far. So College find themselves back on the 50. Kicking off again. It's a great contest in the year. And Max Antwerp finds himself on a bit of space. Great the big lock him. finds himself on the other 40. Max is to Sam. James. James White hits up again. Oh, Otunga Wiley. Johnson. Out to Matt Roberts. Matt Roberts puts a kick in. They've got chases. But Cross College get there first and they put a boot away. And James White puts James another White, kick in. Chip. Oh, oh great beats the man. Kick. What a kick. What a kick. Straight over his head. Good bit of rugby. Great bit of rugby. The line out today going to college. And they put a kick in. I thought they were going to run it on that kick. one. And it's down to Matty Robbins. Snatched up. Big bomb. Looking for the chase now. And he's oh. been taken. I, I think he's. I thought he was taken out there. I Easton. thought he was too. But he a great tackle. It. That's right. Oh, they've caught a penalty. Oh, he 
Don't say that. That's all right. Good re-kick again there from Callum. And the Coles line out now. No, never mind. Hendrix Taylor hits up. He's had a few good carries this game, old Hendrix. Oh, great oh, hit. God. Oh, He's knocked God. it on in the tackle. Great bit of work. Wow, great defense. That shows courage. To get a team going, you need a play like that to happen. And that's really happened in this game. You need your big guy to get going. You need a play like that. That really just gets the whole team fizzed. Yeah, they really boost the energy for boys high. Boys high scrum now. Fine. I'll get a Johnson to feed it. And they've gone oh, wide early. Space in the wing here. Gives it one more. Lucky Cartwright's brought down in touch. College line out. Yeah, we got the clock yeah, we see some reserves again. come on now. Oh, yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> You're all good, Judd. And Jack Jones to throw again. Try scholars, retains the ball. Jack Jones. Oh, Jack Jones playing half there. Yeah. <laughs> what can't he do? Marcus Hamilton snapped up on the tackle there. Oh, I've gone to ground again. Good we hit from Harry and also that. And the ball's come worse oh, than the inside side with the ball. Nice face there. Got his face, beat him one. Oh, he's lost the ball. ball goes in touch. And if we come up for the price college, not home. Eighteen minutes gone in the half so far. About halfway through. Quite a tight rugby game, eh, Hamish? Good to see. Yeah, it is a tight one, mate. Boys are fighting themselves with a bit of points in this half. Two they points, better. Only two points. When, when they spread the ball early, they find yeah. themselves in a lot more space with a lot more room to play yeah. with and getting points on the board. A lot more dangerous when they spread yeah. it out wide to be cut too. Two Very fast wingers of Noah Sakudu and Lockie Cartwright. Fine! My college family looks up. You see the college front. Same it ends. And it's collapsed. Good dog in. Colas to feed the ball in again. Sam it ends. Get out the back. It ends to Nick Shear. A little wee chip and chase. Chip in. Could be good. Oh. Could be good. Great pick up from Harry. 
Other way, chat. Vanna Jova! The ball's found grass to Angus Hammett. Angus Hammett hits up. He's been smashed in the tackle there. Good little run from but the But got over the ball quickly. And Hendrix Taylor. Well, bumps off one. In space. Down the second. And put a kick in. Oh, good wee chip through. And boys High get there first. Good recovery from Matt Robbins. As we said, the 22 drop kick. James White taking it by the looks of things. Deep left, tries to go as far as possible. It's a, it's a massive kick. Not a bad wee drop, is it? Hendrix Taylor hits up again. And he's getting pushed back. Over the ball. Sam to Nick. Oh, I got space in the lane. Good we tackle. Oh, sit down. Boys have got the ball back, and Otago Johnson puts a kick in. A box kick out of half nudge. back. Oh, almost at him. Oh, great we offload. And Angus Hammer gets there first. Another one. Give it one more. And Hendrix Taylor yet again hits up. And Hendrix Taylor again. He's everywhere, that man. He is. Oh, great wee. And boys have stolen the ball in a great turnover. It's gone to Forster. It's gone out the back to Matt Robbins. Matt Robbins, Robbins puts a, a kick in. Nudge up. Oh, oh good hit. Good hit. Sit down. Thanks for coming. Sit, Sit down. down, big boy. Will Lindsay puts a hit on. What a hit. Another great tackle. And an offload off the ground. Boys are looking to get over it. Oh. A little bit of space down there. There is space. They space. put a kick in. Sean Rutherford. Rutherford it up. puts a kick in. And He's Angus, gone all the way. Angus Hammett scored a great try. What a try. Wow, where Angus Hammett. That's his second for the day. Wow, great try from Christ College. What a try. Great bit of teamwork. Great nudge. Yeah, the vision, the, the kick, everything was awesome. And what about the runs? All the runs from Hendrix Taylor. They're coming off really well. What a workhorse. What a nudge. Great bit of work from Christ College. That's how quickly this game can change. Callum Summerfield to kick. Again, he's at kicking out 100%, just like James White. Lining it up now. Big moment here. And he gets it over. Oh, straight through. Straight through what the middle. What a nudge. Great stuff from Christ College. Putting themselves up five points now. Boys High going to need a converted try to get back in front. Yeah, nice very good. Yeah. 11 minutes to go now. We need something special here. We've got a great footy game on our hands. So here we see Oli Burrow on a halfback. He's fizzed, he's fizzed. That's true, mate, good. Getting ready to make a big impact on this game now. And Hunter Reiner on for, for Moa. Drop, your half drop back. Oh, great Over. for Max.
Can we run from the boy? Out to Riley. Riley gives it one more. Quick hands. Out to Will Lindsay. Will Lindsay has gone forward. That's unlucky. That's all right. Tom Thine on for Christ College at Hooker. Ready to make, getting ready to make a good impact here. Dave on as and well. David Rogers, the young prodigy himself. The big year 12 prop, number 17. Getting ready David to Rogers, look out for him. One to watch today. In the last 10 minutes, he's going to make a big impact. As Sam puts it in, gives Burrow a wee nudge. Oh, Burrow's seen it though. And only Burrow wraps him up on a great way. tackle and gets him out. Wow, we. Puts him into touch. Great Ollie vision, Burrow. Ollie. Great vision. Great work from the little halfback. See his little calves pop in there. 72, 72. Oh, great wee tip back. Barra to Kurt. Misham. <laughs> Jackson Misham hits up in the middle of the field. Beautiful. Ollie Barra's the outer halfback, gives it to James White. Oh. James White gives it, and Manny Robbins is in a bit of space. Is there. And he gives it away. Noah Sakudu. <laughs> 10 metres out now. And the cross College have oh. stolen Tackle. it. Tackle! Release! Oh, oh God, great hit! Great hit from Noah Noah. Sekudu. Holy liquor. And he's trying to get that ball back there. Advantage blue, knock on white. And, oh, and it's been a lost forward. Boy, so I've got it. Oli no, Barra, nice! Oh. Blue. First one, knock on white, guys. Great turnover by your winger and then good counter up by blue. <laughs> Barra getting ready to feed that scrum. Already made a great impact on this game so far, only being on for a few minutes. Box As you can see those calves popping. He's had an awesome, an awesome stint at halfback. Coach! He's played so Next. well, and he's only been on for Fine. five or so minutes. He's done awesome. Boys are really Six. looking to score a try Six. here. Put them back ahead right now. Barra gives it. It's gone to Sakura. Sakura gives it out to Guy Jensen. One more. Guy Jensen gives it out to Matty Robbins. Matty Robbins to Will Thanks Lindsay for coming. Scores. Will That's Lindsay dots try. down. The boys are fizz. The fans are getting amongst it. Will Lindsay, great stuff. What a team play. Awesome stuff off the set piece, off the scrum. Boys High have been amazing off those scrums today, haven't they? Wow, we great bit of code. This kick is going to be important. This kick can be very crucial, very crucial. Some could say they've got a kick to win it. What a game of rugby we have on our hands here. Can't get much better than this. As James White, 32 lines all lines up for a really important kick. To put boys higher ahead. All the boys getting around and the hands are up. Really going to focus up now. <laughs> he strikes it. It looks to me as oh, he's That's good. It. What it's a good. nudge. What a nudge. The boys are loving it. Great kick from James 32. White. 32. He's 100% today. What a nudge. What a nudge. So Christ College restart. They've kicked it up to Antel, I think, and he's given a quick ball. He's and running Angel's like a winger. Space, and he oh, gets eaten there by Hen Hendricks. Great hit from Hendricks. Hendricks Taylor. Buzz has got it. But they regather the ball. David Rogers, good. It's we off run to from Dave. Him.
They James put White. a match in and he's... Wow, look at the hands. Picked up from next year. The hands from next year. Great little counter. And a penalty. Head high. You can tell that was accidental. Just Nothing personal. It was next year on the ground. Time off. Wow. It's been a really eventful. One of the last the ten half. minutes. Holy yeah. Eka. A seesaw game. We've seen Christ College up front. We've seen Boys higher front. Both teams. Two times. Really gone through the phases here. As you see, a packed. A packed field here at Boys High today. It's a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in sight. Both teams really huddling up, really talking about this last five minutes and how crucial it is. Yeah, it's important yeah. that, that <laughs> they so uh, hold on to that ball in the last five minutes, both teams. It's important that college really get to try now. Yeah, it's yeah. This, Three this points to do it for them though. A drop kick or a cheeky wee. To see Nick Shearer. Cheeky wee conversion. Have you, have you got oh, it's the on? halfback. Go on. Sam Idens. Oh, Sam Idens, the off. Idens. Idens comes off after a great performance from him today. He has a, had a great game, hasn't he? He's, got a, he's had a good one. Hopefully Time that arm's all right. And they find touch with really good field position. This is putting them in the perfect position for what they want to do here. And they've got options. Next year is known for converting, for doing a drop goal in the last five minutes or so. He'll be comfortable in this position, I reckon. As we saw last year, in last year's annual game. I reckon that might be an option for Christ College. He's going for a drop goal. Look, he's looking like he's lining up for one. No. Not yet, Easton. Good defense from Boys High. Tackle! Jack Jones, good little run. Callum Summerfield is standing very, very deep. And they've got the penalty. Oh, a bit of. Yeah. Christ College. To take, the three. to take the three points. Oh my goodness, what a game. Wow. You can almost say this kicks for the game. Four minutes. Guys are down by two at this stage. Callum Summerfield. He's gone 100% today. Can he kick to get Christ College ahead? This could be the kick for the 2021 college match right here. Boys have got their hands up. Coming home, the they say. Fingers. Come home, they say. And they've got what it. What a nudge. Christ College lead. What a nudge. With three minutes left to go, Christ College lead by one point. Oh, what a game. What a game. As you said at the start, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Exactly right, mate. It's not over till the fat lady sings. As boys high find their way on the 50 to restart. Boys are chasing after it. They go, go for a long kickoff. Oh, someone's hit their conk. Nose. Tackle! Just trying to retain possession right now. Leave it, boo! Wind down Lock that clock is what they were trying to do, mate. Exactly. That forward pack really trying to work hard right now. They want to keep that ball. They don't want to give boys higher. Two more minutes for college to... Boys half turns it up. Oh, a penalty to Christ College. This is what they want. This is exactly what you want for a college want. fan. Thought about a quick tap and go there next year, did. Opting for touch and sphere. They just want to get it out of there. Waste as much time as possible. Come, guys. Nope. 
gone for a scrum. Thirty-five. 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 Thirty-four to Christ College with one minute remaining on the clock now. What a game! Boys high with a huge push. Christ College finds it out. Hendricks Taylor running off at number eight. He's met by from him. Met by Moa. Good. Yes, time up, guys. Stay on side. Stay on side. Yeah. Yeah, look to clear. It's not game over. Thanks, guys. It is game over. Christ College have won the 2021 Christ well College. Well done, Christ College. What a game. What a game. A seesaw game. Christ College proving too good for boys high. It started off with a great start from Christ College. Kicking those goals and scoring those tries. Getting over that ball before boys high did. Proving too good for Christ College. Boys high with a great performance, but not good enough to match Christ College. Two what years a in game. a row, Christ College have won. And well done to them. Good job, Christ College. Great game. Great game of footy. Been great plays from both sides. The yeah. first half really owned by Christ College, second half pretty even, pretty evenly matched. Just didn't go boys high as well in the end. Christ College well deserved. The tries from Rutherford Bur from Rutherford Burford and the kicks the kicking and the everything was pinpoint accuracy. It was. Very good. Sam Evans, very good game at half back, I'd say. Callum's Callum Summerfield, great game from him as well. Great nudges. Very good nudges. Yeah, really good. Great stuff from him. A great game. Yes, nothing but be happy for Christ College. Yeah, well done, Christ College. Great performance. Hard luck to boys high. Great game. What a game. Boys High thoroughly disappointed. You can see the look on their faces. Hoping oh, for a better result. It's a huge game. And Christ College, two years on the trot. Two years on the trot for college. Disappointment from oh, the I Boys High team. Really they did only so well. The really performance only the one was injury. awesome, but just they Williams. couldn't match it. They couldn't quite match it. Just utter disappointment for Boys High at the moment. Season. Utter joy for Christ College. Yeah, absolute scenes from Christ College. So happy. Two years on the trot. Well done, Christ College. Just the one injury from Sam Edians, though, wasn't it, really? Yeah, just the one injury from the Christ College halfback. What a so game we saw yeah. from Christ College. It was a game of two halves, truly was. Christ College, very good first half, a very evenly matched second half. Christ College yeah. really just had a better day today. Boys High just couldn't match match the same performance as Christ College. No. They performed performed really good right from the first the first whistle. The first kickoff they owned it. And they kicked goals. They didn't miss one. Neither did Boys High, but Christ College were just too good for Boys High to match. Yeah, Callum Summerfield had a very good game. So yeah. did Sam Idians. He had both played very well. The my two pick players of the day. Ang Angus Hammett, a fullback for Christ College. Amazing yeah. stuff. Um, James White for Boys High had a yeah. very good game, I'd say. Very good. Very good nudges. Very good kicks for touch. Yeah. It's great stuff. Two years on the road for Christ College, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was a win for no, College League. Uh, both teams played amazingly. It was an action-packed game from start to finish. There were goals left, right and centre. There were a few penalty kicks as well. What is your opinion on how the game went, Zeke? Yeah, like you said, both, both teams played extremely hard. I imagine both teams put in all they could. A lot of effort went in. We actually converted most of our tries this game, which we didn't really see uh, last match, but it was good to see the conversions. Um, I think uh, boys high struggled here and there in terms of uh, the performance. 
Uh, definitely not the best we could have been. Christ College did play extremely well, and I actually congratulate them. What do you think? Exactly. Christ College played an amazing, amazing game, and they put up a great fight, and that's what helped them in the end. You know, they just, they're a great team. And, you know, this, this is proof that, you know, these two teams really are, at this point in time, equals. You know, it could have gone either way, and they just had the training and the performance and the skill to bring it through in the end, and I congratulate them. I think they've done an awesome job of it. Yeah, absolutely. Why, why do you think that Christ College came along with the win today? Well, I just think they learned from what they had done last year because they secured the win last year, and they just sort of compounded on, on the sort of performance that was uh, held up there, and it's just gone through to create a more uh, you know, streamlined game for them, I guess. Yeah. They've just been able to up their game. So Zeke, it's, it was been a great game. Been a great game. Congratulations to Christ College for taking the win. Absolutely. And back to you guys. Back to you guys. Couldn't ask much better. Uh -huh. So yes. after after a great game, Christ College too good for boys high. Yeah, just. I had a joy for Christ College, not a disappointment for Boys High. Couldn't yeah. say much more than that. Saw a great turnout for Boys High supporters and old boys. Yeah, and there was some great individual brilliance shown by Ollie Burr. Yeah. Down on the far side of the field, tackling, t tackling. Sam Indians, and then and going in and yeah. spreading that ball wide and getting another try down the wing. How good yeah. was that? As and some can great see, individual brilliance as well. You can see Christ Max College. Ansel. Christ College shaking Boys High's hands. It's just great to see. At the end of the day, everyone's still mates, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the sportsmanship showed by both sides is awesome to see. Yeah. It's awesome scenes here. Clapping, like getting the boys high, getting the clap off for the yeah. supporters. That's, that's what you love to see, though. And win, lose, or draw, the sun comes up in the morning, that doesn't does, it? does, you're right. Great game of footy. Yeah, awesome game. Boys high, a little bit sad. That's all right, though. Get them next year, eh? Yeah. Christ College still celebrating as they should be. Yeah, they'll go and enjoy this one. And I hope they do. They deserve it. They played really well. Very well. Great game of footy altogether. Yeah, great game of footy. Had some good individual plays as well. The two Aucklanders working together. Yeah, Curtis, Curtis McDonald and Riley Brewers. Riley Brewers coming up with a great try off the back of Curtis McDonald's work. Yeah. And that came off the work of the front row. That, yeah. Winning the scrum. Wow. He could have spent it off at least three tackles from what I counted. Yeah. And then really well set up for Riley to just dot down. Yeah. It is great to see the turnout for how many people were there, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's awesome. It's always a massive event for Boys High and Christ College. Both teams loving it. Both teams loving it. And it's awesome. It is. It is a great game. A great occasion for both schools. Great occasion. It brings everyone together. About the game. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have a treat today. I am joined here with Brad Moore. Uh, I'm going to let him talk a bit about the game. How do you think uh, the game went in terms of the boys' performance? Oh, g'day Ezekiel. Um, well, what a day, eh? The weather put it on, particularly yeah. after all the rain that we've had. I hope everyone's doing well out in the, in the communities that have been smashed and uh, just wonderful to have a game. And mm. I thought it was a great game. The skill set was outstanding. Um, the willingness and, the, and the, the, the physical contacts were superb. And we saw some great tries, didn't we? And it was uh, little yeah. moments that, that swung the game. I thought, uh, you know, boys high turned a lot of ball over in the first half and they got that right at the start of the second and played some superb rugby yeah. to come back into it and lead. And, and, uh, and Cross College took all their opportunities. So, you know, congratulations to college on a, on a well-fought and well-deserved win and, and to a good boys high side as well for putting on a great contest that could have gone either way. Yeah. Absolutely. As a coach, what would you say to the uh, to the first fifteen uh, after the game? To our lads, um, I'd say that they could be very proud and, and that they've they've put had a had a great game. They've probably been working on some stuff that they did really well, um, and there'll be good th little things that they can work on in the next few days. But for the moment, just um, just soak up the, the 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 atmosphere of the day and the and the effort that they've put in, and the families are here and supporters, and and that uh, as always, they'll get better from it. And uh, and the season's got plenty left in it, so it's uh, time to bounce back and and, uh, and and finish strong. Awesome. All right. Awesome. 
Effie. Right. Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you for your time, time Brad. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks, 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 Tatum. Thanks a lot. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thanks, sir. No, awesome. No worries. Thank you. Well done, boys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. See you, Brad. Ah, uh, yeah. So after a great performance, a game full of history, a game full of pride and passion, it was Christ College too good for boys high. Two ga two years in a row, like we said, it was a great game. The history continues. So that'll now be uh, 44 games for Christ College in the winning and 84 for Boys High. Last year it was Jack Jones winning it for Christ College. This year it was it was Berth Rutherford Burford. Yeah, how good. All right, so thank you so much for joining us on this stream. We've uh, covered the entirety of the Christ College match, and I must say, Zeke, it has been a cracker of a day. It was real cold in the morning. It warmed up nicely, and we saw some amazing, amazing rugby. And I just got to say, yeah, it's been beautiful. What do you think, mate? Yeah, like Hayden said, thank you so much. This is a first for Christchurch Boys High School, a live stream. It's taken a lot of effort from uh, the media team and uh, most importantly, the cameraman, Jack Preble and Dominic Johnson, the heads of the media team, have put in hours of blood, sweat and tears into this whole setup. It's amazing that we have the capability to do that and we are truly blessed as students, uh, as a school, to have the facilities to be able to yeah. do that. It's an absolutely great effort by our team. They've put together a real show and they're the entire reason we're standing in front of you now. Um, I'd just like to say a huge thank you and um, go and support the Maya Foundation, the Maya Health Foundation. Feel free to donate. Anything you can provide to them is worthwhile. You know, they'll be really grateful for that. They're furthering uh, you know, the health system in Canterbury and the work they're doing is amazing. They're doing some awesome work. Extremely good cause there. I was actually just stoked to sit back and watch a really good game of footy. Yeah, I, I really it's been awesome. It. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Until next time, this has been the CBHS Media Team. Thank